And you at six, a local radio personality, is ready to take her fight against illegal immigration to the nation's capital, and she's taking a whole lot of soul with her. Ari Oswald is live in Fort Lauderdale with this story. Ari? Tony, soul as in the bottom of your shoe. 850 WFTL listeners who can't make it to D.C. this weekend have dropped off about 4,000 old shoes here. You can see them here in the radio station's lobby. So these shoes can make the trip to Washington for them to symbolically hold the Capitol's feet to the fire. Now, a lot of people think this whole effort is at best mean-spirited and at worst downright bigoted. But whatever you think, the campaign has definitely struck a nerve. Preserve. I don't want illegal aliens taking any of my tax dollar, not a penny. Talk like that led to this. A small mountain of old shoes contributed by listeners eager to make a political statement. So why do you feel the need to contribute to this effort? Well, the overall cost that it's costing us as a nation, you know, education, health care, auto cost, auto insurance, you know. It just all adds up. Mexicans are welcome. South Americans are welcome. Polish people are welcome. Canadians are welcome. Just come in through the front door. Illegal immigration has become Joyce Kaufman's favorite issue, the one that lit a fire under her audience. They sent in baby shoes, running shoes, combat boots, some with messages like that. Speak English, all destined for a rally in Washington this weekend. We're going to try and get the attention of the president and of Congress to see, to see that we're agitated. We don't want illegal immigration. Kaufman is Puerto Rican, but she's quick to criticize Hispanics who don't assimilate enough for her liking, and she gets kindred spirits on her show. We want to be Americans. I have no desire to go live in Puerto Rico. I have, and, and Joe, do you have any desire to live in Cuba? Not at all. Doesn't America still represent hope for people who are downtrodden, who are trying to get here any way they can because they have no chance of a decent life in their own homeland? Not any way they can. There is legal immigration. This is the country that embraces immigrants. My ancestors were immigrants. I'm sure your ancestors were immigrants. But they came in through the front door. They did what they had to do to become American citizens, and they adapted. Kaufman's critics say she's playing up prejudices or the stereotypes that she sees out there to inflame the prejudices of her listeners and that real immigration issues are way too complex to be solved with bumper sticker slogans like this. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ari Odds or NBC6.